people who are ordering uh, curtains usually going to receive two sliding door and one tailgate curtain. So in the case of the sliding door curtain, you're going to receive the curtain itself and two rails. On the bottom, if you note, there is B and T, bottom and top. The bottom rail usually installs, there is a trim line here, if you have a look. We usually line the rail on that line where the, this um, blind connects into the car and usually with a number one Phillips head we drive the little screws in and having having lined the the rail with that trim do not tighten it with the with the with the machine with the power drill usually tighten them with your hand so you can feel how tight the screw should be and then repeat that four times to put the, the blind down to its storage place and the top rail is going to be installed noting the T and always also you can see here that the curved bit is facing inside the passenger compartment and the flat bit facing to the glass and same same is on the top. On the top, I usually line the rail on the on the bottom of that curve of that trim, and usually having the same amount of distance in both sides, which is about then. 10 millimeter. And when you put the four screws in with the power drill, you can just finish the installation by hand so you're not going to uh, strip the plastic with the screw that's why I advise to hand tighten the screws curtains so that too we have to be very careful to put the gray inside and the black outside so in the case I'm going to feed them from the left to the right we have to be carefully noting that the press studs the, the, the hollow bits of the press studs have to be always facing to the trim of the car so in this case we have to start feeding the curtain from from this from this lug and we usually we usually spool them out a little bit and then slide them in it's very fiddly but a little bit of practice and everyone can install these curtains in five minutes.
Well, we're going to start the other side and we have to start shading it from this part so the black has to face outside and the press buds like this. So black out, gray in. So in this case we have to feed it from, from here. So now we installed the top rails, on the, the curtains on the top rail, as you can see they slide nicely here, but we also can note that they appear to be short. They are indeed short, but they also flex, so we can pull them this far down and to feed them in we have to first install the two end caps. So the end caps looks like look like this. We can no, we notice that the two of them are different. It is because this goes this side and that goes this side. The rail between, the rounded bit in this side, the flat bit is in this side. So that's how we install the end caps on the rail. As the curtain is inside, we have to put the end caps in. So prevent the curtain to the curtains to slide out from the rails. So we in the top one we first we have to undo the first screw we already have put in. Not fully unscrew, just enough to flex it out and put that end cap in. And then with a 2.5 millimeter drill bit we're going to drill in into the aluminium rail through the plastic trim of the car and that's how we can we can then do this back and then And so that prevents the curtain to slide out from the rail. And then now we can start feeding the, the bottom rail. Now I'm going to complete the, the left side as I did on the right side. in on the bottom now we're going to screw it in Now we're going to do the same thing in the left side. And we are almost finished. Now the only thing we have to put in is these 
press studs. Put the screw on the power drill. Usually position it just 10 mil above the actual press stud. In the bottom, we cannot put any in because of the handles. That line is good for us. We measure up somewhere here. side that that little arrow is a good indication of the middle of the of the window so I usually go like that in the middle of the window and we are done so these are the curtains what we usually sell in trees so the two sliding door and the tailgate uh, the, the colors match the interior. It's a very, very good uh, complement of your vehicle. One sliding door is done, we have to do the other one, and then we have to do the tailgate. So, to be able to install the tailgate curtains, it's very hard to work from this height. So, I usually just tie the tailgate down with a tie or a piece of rope or whatever you whatever you have at home doesn't really matter just the fact that it's, it is closer so something like this so it's easier to work easier to to go around in the installation so firstly we have to install the top one in the tailgate so if you note the bottom of the rail is a T for top and the same as in the sliding door the round bit has to be in the passenger compartment and the flat bit has to be towards the glass so in this case the round bit is points downwards and we place this trim and we can see this line usually line the edge of the bed goes in and we usually put, put it in the middle and then put the right screw in first okay and then the left screw so this lines in the edge this line's in the edge and then the third and the fourth screw in the middle we bend down the rail to the same curve as the trim goes and simply we just fit it in screw it in and and the top rail is on Car, 
far, there is this curve, the trim, and we usually line it right under here, so somewhere there, and then we have to press the middle in, in the middle, so the aluminium bar curves, and then we get our screw, and bound. Curtains we have to feed from the top, the curtains, so we have to be careful to feed them in to the grays inside. So, in this case, we have to start from this end, and if we facing to the front of the car, the black has to face to the rear. Now, we're going to start feeding it in. studs this has studs which has studs it's in the left side and the gray one is facing to the front of the vehicle the black one facing to the rear of the vehicle and then we start feeding the the curtain into the rail the curtains to the rail we have to put the end cap and caps in so just place the end cap here 2.5 millimeter drill bit okay and then screw it in most of the times it has a little gap here and we do the same in the, in the left side. Now we have to feed the bottom rail in with the curtains. So the same, same as in the top. So right now we have to end the end cap and also drill the end cap out. It has to go through the plastic too. And then add that with a screw. The same applies to the other side. So now we apply the press studs, same as on, on the sliding doors. And the position is on that line about here. And then we're going to apply the rest of them. And the curtain is basically installed. Thanks for watching.